Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another food review. Today I'm going to be trying a new restaurant, question mark. And the question mark is because, is this a new restaurant or is it just a new one of these Pasquale pizza type places? Um, where they try to trick you into thinking it's a new place, but it's actually just a place with a different name. Um... As you know, Pasquale's Pizza, if you ever order from them online, it's actually Chuck E. Cheese Pizza. They came up with the name so you could, they could still sell you terrible pizza during the pandemic. But this one, I don't think it's more like that. This one's more like how IHOP changed its name to IHOB. Um, but this one is... It's not Wingstop, like it says on the bag here. It's this place that they put a big green sticker over thigh stop the thigh experts well I have something to say about that if you have a bit of expertise when it comes to thighs anyway obviously thigh stop is just wing stop with a different name so why they do it it's similar to IHOP where instead of pancakes they move to burgers this one is a little bit more reasonable they switch from wings to thighs. Um, I'm 100% sure this is just out of the back of a wing stop. Um, what's weird is if you order online, you can only get the stuff from the thigh stop. I think they should just let you get some wings, some thighs, and have it in the same thing. But at this place, I ordered online, you can only order thighs. So they have bone-in and they have boneless thighs. Um, I actually think this is a great idea because thighs, to me, have way more flavor than wings or legs or especially uh, breasts, chicken breasts are super dry and usually most boneless um, wings are made out of breasts, so that's why most boneless wings aren't very good at all. Uh, so without any more uh, to do, you can see they put the sticker on the top of their box there so you couldn't see that it said wing stop anymore. And this one that I'm going to try first are their boneless thighs. Um, I got paper towel here somewhere. These are very oily because these are the garlic parmesan flavor. I got non-spicy flavors for this just because uh, I have had a little bit too much spice lately. I got some ranch sauce, some honey mustard sauce. This is the spiciest thing I got. This is their Korean, spicy Korean barbecue sauce. It was relatively low. Um, I think it was above their mild, but below their hot. Um, I got on the side just because I want to be able to control that part of it. Anyway, as you can see, they are not a uniform size. So you know, like, one of them is kind of long and thin. This one's kind of short and fat. And that really tells me that these are really just naturally cut off of thighs. I'm going to try this one right here. Very crunchy exterior. You can see that meat in the middle there. I haven't had Wingstop in a while, so I'm not really familiar with a lot of their flavors. But their garlic parmesan here is pretty good. And like these little crunchy little nuggets of thigh meat. That's a good combination. I'm going to try a little bit of this Korean. That's just really pleasant. It's like this smoky, sweet, spicy all together. It has a more uh, peppery flavor than peppery spice. You almost, it almost tricks you into preparing for it to be spicier than it actually is. Do one more. 
This is good. Mm. These are so much better than boneless wings. The meat is juicier, more flavorful. The sauces really mix well with it. They've done a good job of breading these. Very crunchy. Mm. Well, you can't tell. The wing stop or the thigh gap, thigh stop, they're boneless wing, they're boneless thighs. Very good. Tasty, crunchy, delicious. Before we move on to the bone in thighs, they both came with sides, so I'm going to taste them. This is their Cajun Spice French Fry. Or no, just fry, they have a fry seasoning. And I don't remember having this one. I'm going to taste it. Tell you what I think. It's a little lemony. A little vinegary. A little salty, a little peppery. Put some of that sauce. But the fries really didn't survive the, the trip here. These probably only got maybe 20 minutes before they're inedible. I do like their fry seasoning. I think they can do it more vinegary. Give that whatever the sourness to this is, they can elevate that more. Looks good. And then, excuse me, the other side, they only offer two different sides. Is corn. They call it fried corn. And like there's these little corn on the cobs. I was wondering if they meant like it was deep fried, and it kind of does look like it was deep fried. It might be a little runny on here. But these come in a Cajun flavor, but you can change the flavor. Uh, you can get it with the fry seasoning, you can get it with lemon pepper seasoning, or what I did is I got with the Parmesan. Again, it's trying to limit my spice intake. Here's one of them. You can see it's brown like it was fried. It has Parmesan cheese on it. What more could you ask for? Let's try it out. Hmm. I don't like the fault. The flavor is okay. You do get like a that browned, fried up flavor. But like the actual corn, the meaty in innards of the corn. I don't know if you can tell. There's no, there's no crunch from this from the frying. There's not even that like natural crisp you get from regular corn on a cob it's just kind of mushy I would not suggest deep frying corn on the cob or whatever it is they did to these that little Maillard brown flavor that it gets to you isn't that special and it kind of ruins the texture of the corn itself so, the fries, they're fine. They're cold by now, but 
I'm sure if you order these and eat them quicker, you'll enjoy those fries. The seasoning is good on them. The corn, however, stay away from. Now, let's move on to the bone-in thighs. Here's what they look like. For these ones, I got lemon pepper. Make sure I'm not dripping liquid all over here. Oh, there's some condensation out here that dripped on the one table. Um, I got lemon pepper. This comes with three pieces. These two are kind of a small side, but this one is way bigger in comparison. It does look like there's a good uh, fried exterior on the skin there, revealing some like really juicy dark meat underneath it. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mm. This skin. Mm. There's not much more things more delicious than a fried chicken skin. Especially in the thigh because it's got all the, the juicy flavor underneath it. Mmm. This thigh meat is so good. It's literally dripping with juice. I can tell that their lemon peppers is definitely different than the lemony fry seasoning. The lemon is more intense in this, whereas for the, the fries, it kind of tastes lemony, but it also kind of tastes vinegary. Mm. This is so good. Let me put some of that Korean sauce on there. This is just good stuff. Why haven't places done this before? For like, the price of the thigh combo here, it seemed very similar to what I would pay for for like a wing combo. You get all the same sauce options that Wingstop has. But just in this juicy, crunchy exterior, fried up thigh. I really think they should call it thigh gap. That's just funny. That thigh left with these two bones. My fingers tasting like lemon pepper. And just dripping with that delicious chicken juice. Mmm. Magnificent. So, thigh stop. Two things. First, change your name to Thigh Gap. It's more clever and funnier. And the chicken is good. Both the boneless, very crunchy on the exterior, very juicy on the interior. The bone in one gives you that chicken skin part that's so good. Super flavorful, super juicy. Had juices running off the bones and off of my fingers. Your sides, uh, they, could be, they could be better. The fries are okay. I don't know what you could do better than that. I mean, Anytime you have delivered fries, they're not going to be that great. Which is why I wanted to try and see if your other items were better too, but... Excuse me. The corn, it's just mush. I don't know if that's another thing, like the fried 
potatoes are kind of stale and mushy, so the corn is the same way, but why couldn't you just boil the corn or steam the corn and then put the same stuff on the exterior? I think it would have held better. Uh, I think it would have tasted better. It would have been sweeter, crisper, all around, just better. Don't fry the corn. Um, I'm going to give the the corn a five and a half out of ten. I'm going to give the fries a seven out of ten. I'm I'm trying to think which one I like better between the boneless and the bone in. And I gotta say the bone in one just because you get that crunchy, delicious skin on the exterior. I'm going to give the bone in thighs from Thigh Stop a 8.9 out of 10, and I'm going to give the boneless thighs an 8.7 out of 10. Really, the, the big difference is getting that skin. Crunchy chicken skin is delicious, and you get that with the bone in. You don't get it with the boneless. But the breading on the boneless is still very good and very tasty, very crunchy. And I think if you don't like bones, then you could probably... Um, get the boneless one and not really worry about the not having the chicken skin uh, too much you'll still be very satisfied anyway that's it for this thigh gap boneless and bone in thighs hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next video whenever that'll be uh, but I'll be here and you'll watch